Howdy everyone, it's Sam. Welcome back to Wobble and Jaw Sports. If you're new around here, hope I can get you to consider to like the content and subscribe to the channel. But if you're a regular around these here parts, thank you very much for the continuous support. We've only got one more week before Origin is all done and dusted. Players get their Origin rests. And then starting next week, all eyes, everything is full systems go for this year's final series. Cannot wait till the NRL goes up another level next week. But we've got some really important, really fascinating games coming up in round 20 this weekend. Some absolutely critical contests. Let's get stuck into it. This is the Ace High Tip Show. Round 20 starts on Friday night football. There is only one Friday night footy game this weekend. It emanates from GIO Stadium. The Raiders host the New Zealand Warriors. Only yesterday you could have gotten the Canberra Raiders at over $2. Now they're coming into this weekend's game as the favorites, only slight favorites, $1.88 to the Warriors, $1.96. It was only yesterday the Raiders were over $2. Let's get stuck into the team list for the Canberra Raiders now, and their one to six is unchanged. Jamal Fogarty finally returns for the Green Machine. He is going to be enormous. You feel like he's gonna be absolutely enormous. The Ford Pack, remains largely untouched. Starling will start at hooker and the interchange for Canberra is Levi, Mooney, Mariotta and Zach Hosking is also a very welcome addition back into the fold for the Canberra Raiders. Into the Waz now and at fullback, Tel Piki returns to NRL standard and he will be the fullback taking over for Charles Nickel Klukstar who suffered a lower leg injury over the weekend. DWZ and Tulvas Ashek are the wingers. RTS returning to the wing and Leah Tala and Pompey are the two centers. Harris Tavita and Martin, Tamare Martin, will be the halves pairing. And the Ford Pack, Kurt Capewell has been named to back up from State of Origin. And Dylan Walker will be the lock. Now, breaking news today, Tohu Harris's season is over. That is a massive blow for the Warriors. And going into the interchange is Lusick, Ford, Tavanga, and the debutante from the Bulldogs game a couple of weeks ago, Lika Halasima. My God, what a debut from that young man. Oh, I didn't think I would, but I'm going to go the Canberra Raiders in this game. They're on a, what, a five-game losing streak at home. Uh, they got really, really close against the Newcastle Knights uh, a, a week or two ago. Now, they've got a breakthrough. They've been very close games, these War Raiders and Warriors games, over the past 18 months or two years. And I think the Raiders will pip them this Friday night. Um, but boy, howdy. Uh, if... If they don't win this game, I think the pencil is going to go straight through the Raiders' name after Friday night if they don't win. But I'm tipping the Raiders 1-12. to Into Super Saturday, and game number one is from Industry Group Stadium on the Central Coast. South Sydney Rabbitohs versus the West Tigers. Souths, they are $1.29. West Tigers are $3.62. Going into the team list... For the South Sydney Rabbitohs, Jai Arrow's season is over after he underwent surgery uh, over the past couple of days. Saliva Havili returns to the interchange bench. Michael Cheekham will start in the second row. And the rest of the interchange reads Mamazoulis, Duncan and Tom Burgess. For the West Tigers now, uh, Alex Lobb is out. In comes Luke Lalalili and Adam Dewey, Fa'atape and Staines and Buller remain as the back five. And the Ford pack, Talon De Silva will start. Uh, Api Corusau has been named on the reserves. I believe he suffered a calf injury against the Sharks last uh, Friday night, um, but you wouldn't risk him, even though uh, the season is just about done with all due respect. The interchange reads Latu Fainu, Alex Tawal, Sione, Sione Fainu, and Jordan Miller. So the three Finu brothers will all be playing together this Saturday at 3 p.m. from Gosford. 
Uh, South Sydney Rabbitohs last weekend scored plenty of points but leaked too many themselves. They, it was a very spits and spurts game. One team had the momentum for 15 minutes and then the other went in the way of the Dolphins and that's who won it in the end invariably. I'm going to give this to the South Sydney Rabbitohs. I think after getting trounced by 50 plus last Friday night, the Tigers will be a little bit will be a little bit bouncy, but minus their man, Happy Coruscant. This could be a long day at Gosford if they're not careful. Strike me pink, isn't this a friggin' important game? This is huge. 10th versus 13th. It's Newcastle 10th, Broncos 13th. This game is happening at McDonald Jones Stadium and the Knights are outsiders at $2.19. Brisbane, they are a dollar sixty-seven for the Newcastle Knights. Brody Jones is out. Braley, Saifidi, Hetherington, and Dylan Lucas is the interchange bench. Kalen Ponga, Bradman Best, Dane Gagai, they have all been named to play in their respective positions. And Christian Mapapalangi uh, remains on the wing in jersey number two. Uh, and Phoenix Crossland remains as the hooker. Adam Elliott at uh, at the lock position and Tyson Gamble just quietly has been named at Jersey 18 for the Brisbane Broncos. Uh, they've been named in the reserves. Walsh, Cobbo, Carrigan, Haas and even Adam Reynolds has been named in the reserves at Jersey 24. Um, but by and large, this is all unchanged. This is an unchanged lineup from last weekend's Upset loss to the St. George Illawarra Dragons um, are the Brisbane Broncos. Uh, wow, what an, what an absolutely pivotal game. I am certain that at least one of the Origin players uh, will back up. I'm not entirely convinced. I don't think I'd be putting money on Adam Reynolds playing in this game, um, even though they desperately need him. And that interchange again uh, is is rather small. Moza, Smoothie, Karapani, and Marty uh, Tapau, and just confirm the back row for Broncos is Piakura, Ricky, and Kobe Hetherington. Oh, it, it's now or never. Uh, it's sort of the same thing with uh, the Raiders. I think if Brisbane lose this game against Newcastle on Saturday afternoon. I think it's going to be just about a bridge too far. Um, they wouldn't technically be dead, but gee whiz, they're coming back from a long, long way. The only thing that's really keeping them with a bit of a positive mindset in my eyes is that they have a much better points differential than pretty much the rest of the bottom half of the top eight, but it's only by... Well, well, they're working with about single digits at the moment, but the rest of the sides around them are about minus 30. So they've got the points differential on a lot of the teams um, in the lower half of the, um, in the lower half of the, well, outside of the eight, basically. So that's what's helping them. And that's what's not having me rule them out, even if they do lose this game, even though, boy, howdy, it'll be, uh, it'll be a huge mountain to climb. I'm going to go to the Brisbane Broncos in this game. Uh, Knights, I feel like while they were a bit fiery uh, for a month there, it just feels like the past couple of weeks, it's been a bit wobbly. But then again, last weekend, they were without their origin superstars. But it was just that game against the Raiders where I thought, oh, maybe maybe things are just starting to take a little bit of turn for the worse. But maybe, it, maybe it's not, but I think it'll be close. I'm going to go the Broncos to win this game 1-12. Easily the game of the round, even though Origin Stars may not back up, it still is the game of the round. It is first versus third, Storm versus Roosters. On Sportsbet, the Storm are $2.02 two outsiders at home at Amy Park. Roosters are $1.82. Going into the team lists for both these sides, starting with the Melbourne Storm, Pappenhausen is at fullback, Warbrick and Anderson, the wingers, Howarth and Nick Meany, the centres, Wishart and Hughes are the halves pairing. Uh, and then it's pretty much unchanged in the starting forward pack. Fa'alongo, Welch, Asafa Solomona and McDonald have been named on the interchange bench for the Melbourne Storm. And then for the Sydney Roosters, Tedesco, Tupo and Dominic Young remain as the back three. 
Joseph Suali'i returns from his suspension in the centres and Satili Tupanua remains in the centres. Kiri and Walker are the halves pairing and Linty Collins and Angus Crichton, Connor Watson, they have all been named to back up from Origin, but obviously watch this space. The interchange bench reads Sandon Smith, Spencer Lenu, also named to back up from Origin, Nat Butcher and Nafahu White in Jersey 17. I think we're getting a bit close now, aren't we, uh, to finding out how far away Munster really is. He could be back next week, um, but don't hold your breath, uh, with all due respect, obviously. Uh, and just to confirm as well that Bronson Garlic, who had one of the best games of his career a couple of weeks ago, he is out uh, for the Melbourne Storm. And then Jared Wurria Hargreaves has been suspended uh, for a fair slab uh, for the rest of the, the month, basically, even bleeding into the month of August. Um, so Jerry Hargreaves is a massive, massive out, but it's still a very impressive side on paper. The Roosters are convincing me more and more every week that they are a premiership threat. They could feature on grand final day. The Storm, they are there to be taken every single week, just about. There have been the odd games where they have truly battered the opposition but boy howdy man this Melbourne Storm outfit if, if man if the Roosters do show up and they play to the best of their abilities and they and I touch wood here that none of their origin stars are injured or concussed I think the Roosters get them here uh, and I'm going to go the Roosters here to win this game 1-12 to down in Melbourne into Sunday and for the first time ever the Dolphins find themselves at the foot of the Blue Mountains and it may be happening at just the right time. Penrith versus Dolphins from Blue Bet Stadium Sunday 2 o'clock. Penrith obviously the favourites. They are $1.20 favourites. The Dolphins are $4.60. If you don't mind umpire. Let's go into the team list now. Laurie is at fullback to Ruva and Alamotti are the wingers. Tungo and Casey McLean are the centers. Brad Schneider is the half is is the 5'8, I should say. And Nathan Cleary is the halfback. He returns finally after what it, it feels like forever since Nathan Cleary last played. Uh, the Ford pack is by and large uh, full strength except for Isaiah Yo and Liam Martin. In for them is Luke Garner starting and Matt Eisenhuth and the interchange reads Talau, Smith, Henry and Luron Patia. Uh, the origin superstars in To'o, Luai, Peachy, oh, not Tyrone Peachy, I'm sorry, but he has played origin. Uh, but Peachy, Luai, To'o and Martin uh, they have all been named on the reserves. Isaiah Yo, not even named uh, on the reserves list. So he is absolutely, uh, and so too Dylan Edwards. They are absolutely having the big breaks uh, this weekend. Edwards and Isaiah Yo. For the Dolphins, Hammer has been named to back up from Origin. He's in the fullback slot. And that's pretty much the full strength one to seven for the Dolphins. For the forward pack, Max Plath is the hooker still. Kofusi's been named to back up. And that's unchanged. Uh, the only out for the Dolphins is Ewan Aitken. Uh, he is out, and I think his season might be done, unfortunately. I think it's a, a shoulder problem he suffered. Uh, and the interchange for the Dolphins reads Kerr, Nichols, Stone. Kerr, Nichols, Stone. And Trey Fuller does keep his spot in the 1-17. Um, that might just be enough. That might just be enough. Uh, to get the win over the Panthers this uh, Sunday. I know Nathan Cleary's back. He is, really, he really is the best player in the world at the moment, but he's coming back from pretty much two months out of the game and he's working with a half-strength team. I don't know if he can be that good. I, I mean, we've seen him do incredible things in the past, but... If Hammer does back up, if Kafusi does back up and the Dolphins do play to the best of their abilities um, and they don't play like they did last time they were in Sydney against the Dragons, they play more to the style when they defeated the Sharks in Cronulla, we got a massive upset on our hands. And you think about the last time these two sides played um, in Redcliffe last year, 
Dolphins gave him a huge scare. Dolphins gave Panthers a huge scare. Am I actually going to tip the Dolphins here? It's that back line. Tungo and Taruva, talented as they may be, they just haven't hit their highest gear in a little while now. Oh my god. Uh... Bagger it. Dolphins 1 to 12. Oh my god. Well, doesn't this game have danger written all over it for Manly? Des Hasler with his Gold Coast Titans, he returns to Brookvale, Four Pines Park, for the first time since that really ugly breakup. And on sports bet, Manly find themselves $1.37. The Titans are $3.13. So there's a little bit of a whiff in the air by sports bet in my opinion looking at those odds let's get stuck into the team list now i wonder what happens here so we've got trebojevic turbo he's at fullback saab and hopawadi uh, remain on the wings talau garrick the centers brooks and dce has been named to play at halfback i wonder if he will but the ford pack brown starts josh aloye does as well and simpkin is the hooker Olukawatu, Lawton, and Jake Trebojevic uh, has been named in the back row. I wonder if Jerbo backs up. Chan Kumtong, Ben Trebojevic, Ethan Bullimore, and Tofafoa Sipley round out the interchange. And it should be worth noting that Taniela Paseka has been named in the reserves in Jersey 22. So he is a sniff. And so too is Corey Waddell as well. Uh, for the Gold Coast Titans, who you don't want to take lightly at the moment, Kinney is at fullback. Jaden Campbell and Kieran Foran are the halves pairing. AJ Brimson has been shifted to 18th man um, due to his troublesome groin injury. So AJ misses out again. Oh man, I oh man, I know he's wishing heavier more than anybody else on the planet, but goodness me, I wish him the best the best of luck in 2025 because Gold Coast need him um, playing uh, continuous, consistent football, man. Um, Brian Kelly and Sami are the centers, and Fafita and Campagrera are the wingers. Jojo Fafita, in my opinion, played the best game of his career last weekend. I haven't seen Fafita put that much Marlowe into his cup uh, for a long time. Fodder Wake has been named to back up from Origin. Uh, Clark also starts Fafita, Fermor, and Randall, the back row, and the interchange reads Liu, Khaleesi Haas, Palacia, and Josiah Pahulu. The Titans have a really strong record against Manly and Manly. Des Hasler's back. Oof. Manly are in good form, but you can't deny them that. it's This is a very difficult game to tip. Oh, goodness me, I want to tip the Gold Coast. But I can't. I'm going to go Manly 1-12. to But watch out, Manly. Oh, <laughs> and the final game of round 20. And what shapes as a blockbuster weekend of rugby league. North Queensland Cowboys host the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. This game, what is it? It is fifth versus eighth on Sunday Twilight Football. And it's the Bulldogs who sit in fifth. And they're currently the outsiders on Sportsbet. They are $2.07 outsiders. The Cowboys, they are a dollar eighty favourites. Oh, okay then. So for the team lists, the Cowboys, Drinkwater, Felt, and Braden Burns is the back three. Unfortunately, Tal Lungy did his hamstring and he'll be out uh, for a number of weeks uh, starting this weekend. Purdue and Vilea are the centres. Jake Clifford and Townsend are the halves pairing. I did say in a video I put up on my other social media account, Instagram, that I thought maybe Chad should have a week away and I would have liked to have seen Dearden and Clifford, especially Clifford versus the Bulldogs uh, to help combat 
Matt Burton's kicking game, we're going to need Clifford's big boot. And look, in any event, we're going to get Jake Clifford's kicking game. So we don't miss out on Chad Townsend's try assist and leadership qualities. Uh, so look, bonus, man. It was nothing personal against Chad. That's just what I was thinking at the time. That that was a tactical move that I was thinking about at the time. The Ford pack, Jordan McLean, Jake Granville, and Jason Samalolo. Keelan Lukey, Fenifuiaki, and Sam McIntyre, they are the back row. The interchange reads Edwards, McKaylee, Jamal Shibasaki, and Griffin Neiman, Jersey 17. And the Origin Stars, they have all been named in the reserves. So if they can, they will. Dunno, I doubt it, but we'll see. Going into the Bulldogs now, they do have some changes here. Tracy is at fullback, Karaz and Wilson. The wingers, I really like Wilson. Far out, I really like Wilson. Sherry and Stephen Crichton are the centers. We'll see if Stephen Crichton backs up from origin. Matt Burton and Toby Sexton, the halves pairing. Josh Curran is gonna be playing prop alongside Samuel Hughes and Reed Marnie is the hooker. Uh, reason for that being is Max King is out uh, with an injury for the next month at least. Kikau, Preston, and man, they are the back row. The interchange reads Hayward, Farmacilli, Morin and Lipoy, uh, Lipoy, Hopoy, and on the reserves list, uh, we've got Hutchison, uh, Skelton, and Kartoga. Uh, they've been named uh, on the reserves list. This is such an important game for North Queensland. I can't understate it. They went down to Manly, and I really still, even right now, don't know how they did lose that game in Golden Point to Manly. I really don't. Um, they looked like such the better team, um, and it just wasn't meant to be, unfortunately. This game against Bulldogs, let's just say, for example, if Cowboys win this game and Broncos lose, that puts a difference or a buffer of six points between 8th and 13th, just about. It puts a buffer of four points between 8th and 10th, just about depending on results so this is crucial still alive there's faint hopes of top four but right now we're aiming just to get into the eight we're aiming for a home final a home elimination final in week one of the finals for the bulldogs this is the start of a back-to-back -back fortnight where they play games in queensland they're up in Townsville this weekend, and then they take on the Broncos at Suncorp this Saturday, or next Saturday, I should say. Um, they've just played, even though they're coming off the bye, they, they've just played back-to-back -back Golden Point fixtures, that Warriors game being in particularly extremely physical. They might be a little bit rusty or dusty to start this game. They might be a little slow, but... I'm looking, I'm just looking for a bit of hope in this game, really, because uh, I don't take the dogs lightly. Uh, they are a very good team to watch these days. Um, but come on, you Cowboys. Um, it's there. It, it's right there. They just, it's just about execution. If they can play just as well and execute uh, like, they, well, uh, like they should have done against Manly, if they do it against the dogs, they'll definitely win this game 1 to 12. Yo, that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. What an enormous weekend the Rugby League is going to be. Hope your team gets up for it. And just before I go, I did talk State of Origin on the All Out NRL Fantasy YouTube page. Thank you to Daw and the boys and Hainsey as well for having me on and talking State of Origin. If you want to give that a crack, I have posted up a, a community post about it. Just follow that link and I hope you can give it a crack. Have a very nice weekend. Hope your team wins, except for the Bulldogs. And I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Thank you. Take care. Adios.